Hello Internet people! In this video, I'll show you how to create a sitemap for any website and submit it to Google. It's showtime! Tips with Punch! Alright, this will work for any website, no matter if you use just HTML, WordPress or some other CMS. You just need access to your file manager or FTP software to upload a file. But if you are on WordPress, you could just install a plugin and it will create and update the sitemap automatically. The video of how to do it will appear on your screen now. Let's get started by going to Google and searching for sitemap generator. We are going to use a website called xml-sitemaps.com, so let's click on it. Add your website's homepage to the website URL field. I'll be using storemonkeywp.com and then click on start. Now this website will crawl your whole website and it will create a sitemap based on your links on the home page. Then it follows those links to the next page and if those pages have internal links it will check them too and so on. Arnie, what do you think about crawlers? One ugly motherfucker. Once it's done, click on the view sitemap details. Here you can download the sitemap. Let's do it right now. Also, there is a summary of your sitemap and the pages that the crawler found. You can check here if your most important pages are appearing. And the sitemap itself can be seen by clicking view full XML sitemap button. The sitemap is in XML format, which is an easy format for computers to read, but for humans it's a bit harder. Unless you are like this guy. All your bases are belong to us. So, now you have the sitemap, and next you will need to upload it to the root folder of your website. So, log in into your hostings provider's cPanel. I'm using Host Pop-Up, but this will be the same for all hosting. In the cPanel, click on the File Manager, or if you prefer to use an FTP software like FileZilla, that's okay too, just go to your domain's root folder. Now, in my case, I don't have to go to Public HTML folder, but for example, in GoDaddy, you would first go to public HTML folder and then you would see your domain there. If your domain is the primary domain on the hosting provider, then you will upload the sitemap in the public HTML folder. In my case, I'm submitting a sitemap for my add-on domain, so I have to go inside the domain like this. Next, upload the sitemap you just downloaded by clicking on the upload at the top. Then click on select file and find the location where you stored the sitemap. For me, it goes to Downloads. Then go back to your file manager. I just noticed that my sitemap has a number at the end. So let me rename that file to sitemap.xml. Arnie, what's your sitemap format? I'm a cybernetic organism, living tissue over a metal endoskeleton. Let's double check that you are able to reach the sitemap yourself. To test this, simply type in your domain name and add a slash sitemap.xml. You should see a page like this. If you don't, double check that you have typed the right URL or that you have placed the sitemap in the root folder of your domain. Next, copy the URL of the sitemap overview page. We will now submit the URL to Google. So go to Google and search for a search console and click on the first option. Then click on start now. If you have an account already, you will see a page like this. If you haven't signed up to Search Console yet, then please pause this video and you need to sign up for an account and verify that you own the domain. I show you how to do it in the video that shows up on your screen now. So double check that you have the right website in this drop down. If you are like this guy, you'll probably say, Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Brought to you by getoutahere.com. Next, in the left menu, go to sitemaps. Then paste the sitemap URL you copied a bit earlier into the sitemap field and click on submit. Google will now crawl your sitemap and once it's done, it will show you this message. 
Now, if you have a new website, it might take up to weeks for you to show up in Google search results. And if you have a more established website, then it might be just minutes. You can always check if Google search has picked up your site by going to Google and searching for site colon your domain. The site colon thing is just to tell Google that you want pages only from this domain. For example, in my case, Google has picked it up, but because I've purposefully set it not to appear in Google, the only thing you can see is this thing where it's basically just saying, hey, this website exists. My name is Robert, and if you're looking to master the digital world while getting entertained, this is the channel for you. So hit that subscribe button and find the bell icon so that you get notified about new videos. Here are two videos that I think you will find useful. Whoosh!